Hey everyone, what makes a coffee shop good, successful? How do some achieve consistent, amazing quality? How do they create environments that make you just want to keep coming back time and time again? These are some of the questions I want to explore and attempt to answer by profiling coffee shops, interviewing industry professionals, and drinking a lot of their coffee. I want to start with a three-part series in Tucson, Arizona. First stop, Yellow Brick Coffee. So climb aboard with me and my friends as we fly to Tucson to check out this iconic coffee shop and roaster. After a quick flight and a short drive, we're standing in front of this beautiful cathedral on Country Club Road, right next to Yellow Brick. I spoke to the Roastmaster, Dave, earlier, but unfortunately logistics didn't allow for a recorded interview. He told me that the name Yellow Brick pays homage to the school his family attended, as well as the yellow, sunny belt where coffee grows. The space is clean and inviting, with the order encounter front and center. It has great seating areas for both solitude and socializing. The acoustics are surprisingly nice too for such an open space. This is so important for making a place conducive for conversations. There are a lot of delicious sounding items on the food menu, including vegetarian options, but I'm here for the coffee today. Specifically, a pour over of the Tanzanian that Dave recommended. It was prepared with an origami air dripper and a conical filter. From the first whiff of the dry aroma, to the bloom, to the exacting standards I observed it brewed with, I knew I was in for a good cup. Cheers. It is delicious. This Tanzanian coffee is anaerobically fermented, resulting in a unique acidity that I find hard to describe or compare to usually fruity or citric flavors. I feel it is more akin to a sweet wine flavor. The bag officially states notes of passion fruit, mixed berries, and complex, which is as good a description as I could come up with. Anyway, it has a great acidity that was well balanced with sweetness. Next up, I had to try the espresso blend called Destino. The modular espresso machine was on the customer facing counter, allowing for full view of the shot prep and pull process. They are confident to show you exactly how it's done here. The puck prep was fast and efficient using a weighted distribution tool. They also used bottomless portafilters sticking with the exposed nature of their process. And it was beautiful. My shot came with a cup of seltzer water by default, another great sign of quality and care. The espresso was gently acidic and generously sweet. A lovely nutty base and a creamy texture with hints of citrus. I would have liked to have tried it with milk too, but I will save that for another day. Before we leave, take a look at some of their great merchandise displays right next to the entrance. A lovely selection of coffee. I particularly like this sample box featuring four different coffees with beautiful art by a local muralist. I bought a bag of their Guatemalan coffee as recommended by the barista who made my pour over. I got it home and decided to AeroPress a batch. I almost always brew inverted, but I planned on sharing a bit with some friends, so I did a pour over and then press style recipe to stretch my yield a bit. Here we go, yeah, ready to taste. Let's try. I usually expect orange and citrusy flavors from a Guatemalan bean, but this one was much more grounded in nutty and chocolate flavors with muted acidity. Actually, actually I think it's really good. It tastes, I like, know, really it tastes like a little it. nutty. You're a little nutty. I wanted to try it as an espresso, this time in my outing. The results were excellent. The acidity became a bit more accentuated, and the shot was beautifully textured for a single origin espresso. Finally, I added some oat milk to try it as a cortado, and it fought to get through a bit, but it still made for a good drink. At this point, my taste buds may have been fried too from all the coffee, so I will have to try it again. Okay, so to recap, 
I found Yellow Brick Coffee gave me an immediate feeling of confidence in their quality the second I stepped in. The environment, well organized and clean. The espresso machine, shiny and on full display. The menu, simple and prominently promoting pour over as the first item. Most of the baristas I talked to had a few years to over six years of experience, impressive in the coffee industry. I thoroughly enjoyed my visit to Yellow Brick Coffee. If you ever find yourself in Tucson, I highly recommend stopping by this wonderful coffee shop. What do you think makes a coffee shop great? What are some of your favorite coffee shops? Let me know in the comments below. Also, a huge thank you to Rock Top Coffee for making this video possible. They grow, import, and roast the finest Colombian beans from their family farm. Please subscribe and stay tuned for part two of this series. And thank you so much for watching and have a good one.